Hello and welcome to the only local music TV show here in Omaha, Nebraska, dedicated to delivering local and regional music straight to you, the fans. This is Midwest Music Meltdown, presented by TMS, Theatrical Media Services. We're also presented by Audio Visions and Sailor's Grave Tattoo there in Benson. Much appreciated. As always, I am your host, Ryan Holt. Today we're sitting down with Sarah Bank, formerly Sarah Bank and the Robbers. Uh, thank you for coming, Sarah. Say hello to the kids. Hello. Thank you for having me. Um, obviously, you're just uh, flying solo today. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, talk about how you've evolved over the years. Obviously, you've been doing this quite some time. Mm -hmm. uh, you started playing guitar at 13, mm -hmm. went to the cello for, for a uh, spell, mm -hmm. but... Uh, Always had the always had the rock and roll kind of feel to you. Mm -hmm. So talk about the evolution uh, from you know teenager to where you are today. Okay, okay. Well, uh, I started playing the cello when I was in fourth grade in the school music program, and um, then when I was thirteen, I picked up the guitar and started writing, sort of as a way to to deal with life. And um, you started taking lessons, met some, some people uh, around town, and played in my first band when I was 15. The band was called Rock Candy. Um, when that group broke up, then I started doing solo acoustic gigs. Um, and then uh, shortly after that, I w was in a band called the Rex Granite Band. And I was, that was the f first band I was in where I was actually the singer. And then um, shortly after that, uh, I started Sarah Bank and the Robbers, and that lasted for about six years um, until last fall. And now I've been doing the acoustic thing, and I put a new band together, uh, which doesn't quite have a name yet. <laughs> we're s I think we're I think we're decided, but I won't disclose it yet. With a features Corey Weber, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the new band uh, consists of Corey Weber, Weber and Chris Weber um, from the get, and then... Um, and also the Ground Tyrants. And the Ground Tyrants, too, yeah. And then uh, Bob Carrig plays bass, um, which he was in um, the Robbers towards the, the last half of that, but right. he, just a long-time friend. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, and you played tons of gigs, obviously, uh, with, you know, quite a few famous people. Uh, we talked about Buddy Guy, Leonard Skinner. Um, mm -hmm. Just talk about some of your experiences getting to uh, obviously those opportunities throughout the years. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think probably one of the biggest ones was in 2005 when we, op we got to open for Bon Jovi. We won this contest type thing, like a battle of the bands. and. Uh, got to open for Bon Jovi at the Quest Center in front of 17,000 people, wow. which was pretty amazing, you know. Uh, I, I hadn't even been to the Quest Center before, let alone, you know, been in a room of 17,000 people, just even, like, attending a concert or something like that, so. Now, how did you have to mentally prepare for that? Um, well, I was really nervous, you know, but, uh, but I think you just have to sort of realize that, okay, I have 30 minutes to just go out there and... Um, you know, do the best that I can and to just, you know, knock these people's socks off this, you have to sort of recognize the opportunity that's in front of you and sort of command it to the best of your capability. So right. I tried to do that and I felt like, you know, I just went out there and tried to kick ass. <laughs> well, and don't let anybody fool you. She's very quiet, but, uh, her voice is amazing and, and very powerful. So, um, did you get to meet Bon Jovi? I got to meet John Bon Jovi, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, said hello. We got our photos. Said hello. The whole band. Shook hands. Yeah. He got he got carted off to to the next uh, crowd. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well let's uh, let's get some music out there and, and let everybody hear Sarah Bank live on Midwest Music Meltdown. We're gonna start with uh, what do we got? Walls are not enough, and then we're gonna go to a song called Montana. Correct. Correct. All right, check it out, everybody. There's a ghost down the hall, and 
in the walls and not enough to muffle his moans its footsteps are heavy trotting slamming doors leaves me weary parting his soul not cross over the cigarette smoke it lingers and hovers penetrates my bedroom vault my bedroom vault but I'm the haunted one chills are rotting cold breath into my lungs my plastic lungs There's a void down the hall And the walls are not enough to muffle his tantrums He's speeding, spinning out Race cars explode, dinosaurs roar His temper will not cease And he will never be pleased He will never play outside The little boy runs and hides but I'm the childish one Words of fire and caps from my toy gun My plastic gun You alone, you alone were that You alone, you alone for that bad Like gas pumps and meters, hoses and heaters I'll be there to replace You alone, you alone for that We're that bad There's a married man down the hall And the walls are not enough to muffle his love making His breathing is heavy and specific His eyes are narcissistic I tried to be his lover But his shadow took sight Our affair in the light Slapped he cannot feel he cannot feel that I'm the sinful one Sabbath commandment your hand left my heart my plastic heart 